woman, I call you our sisters. Every woman. You feel hurt by whatever you heard. I haven't paid much attention to it. Every woman. My yes. word of comfort to you would be this. Um, mm -hmm. In addition to what I just told you about seeking God's face, and seeking God's purpose, and being finding fulfillment there. I would say to you, those of you who, those of you who, 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 who like myself, have conceived mm -hmm. and had miscarriages. That's true. I would also say to you, sisters, who again, like myself, have had painful evacuations of our babies who had died in our wombs. I had suffered yeah. one such misfortune. I would also like to say to you out there the who had lost, conceived and birthed babies who died perhaps at birth wow. or at different stages in life, who all of you, including ourselves, who had conceived, miscarried, had evacuations, who, as we speak today, do not have children to show for the trauma and the pain that we have we've experienced in life. Okay. My word to you, word of comfort to you, as I say to myself, you are not bad. Okay? That's true, you are not. You are not bad. So don't be hurt if anyone calls you that. Don't be hurt. Don't you, that. you are not bad. I dare to call you fruitful. And I say to you, and I say to myself, you and I, we are potential Guarding, respected, proud mothers of lively children. The children will come in God's time. Amen. So hang in there, hold your head up high. You are not barren. Enjoy the life that God has given you in the meantime. Thank God for what you have. Thank God for a loving spouse like I have. I say that I have the best husband in the world. Mm. Thank God for the love of family, friends, and all the support systems that God has given to you. Enjoy the and life. Now, let me talk to this Abasegi's wife. Who think she can use this uh, matter between her the husband and Obaseki to attract some uh, uh, sympathy votes. You understand me? You gather some women, uh, I think in diaspora, fully yourself, I would say fully yourself, saying that uh, uh, you miscarriage before, that the women that are looking for children, they should, they are this, they are that, hanging there. Uh, we suffer this, we suffer that. It's for the women. Where did you start caring for these women? When did you start, you know, caring for all those uh, those women? What is the meaning of all this desperation? This desperation that uh, uh, your your husband, Obasiki's boy, must become a state governor. What is it that you people are hiding? You don't want us to know. What, what I want to know. You, because the way you people behave, you are behaving as if uh, your husband is fighting for his second turn. You know, when people are fighting for second turn, they will be so desperate, doing whatever they can, like, you know, propaganda, lies, for them to, uh, for the, you know, for them to be, be in office for the second term. But now that your husband has completed his own eight, ten, eight, uh, eight years in office, what is it all this desperation for? Because we are, we, we we never see you, you know, addressing press like this, talking like this for these eight years. You have been so quiet, but now that your husband is leaving office, 
you are the one talking, 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 saying things you're not supposed to say, insulting uh, uh, your political opponent, insulting because you came out that day. What started this whole saga is that you came out and be disrespecting, insulting APC candidate, Modi, Senator Modi, you were insulting that man. Not just calling him uh, uh, wifeless, that he don't have a wife. You were the way you were talking up, talking about him as if he is nobody, a senator. You were insulting him. But somebody replied and said, You that is laughing at him, or you that is insulting him, that he has no wife. You that have a husband. Did you have a child? Are you fruitful? You are childless. He don't even, uh, 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 did not even call you childless. He said, since you know you are childless, why can't you adopt? Why can't you adopt and be a mother? Why can't you and your husband adopt and be a mother? That's what he said. And you are all over the place, gathering women, lying to them, deceiving yours. I would say deceiving yourself. As if you care for these women. Why did you start caring for Edo women? When they chase them out of a Kyosa market, where were you? Your husband promised to rebuild that market in 2019. When the, fire, when the market got bought, your, 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 your husband waited for five years after they have borrowed money to rebuild the market to their own taste, you know, build it the way they want it. Few months ago, your husband chased them out of that market. Where were you? Did you, see, did you show solidarity to these women? Did you care about these women? A few weeks ago, he went there to go and lay foundation. He went there and lay foundation and said he want to build the market with uh, three billion. Where were you to show solidarity? Did you care about these women? Why is it that now that somebody call you a, uh, that you are not fruitful? You have no child. You are childless. You don't know. Oh, you want to gather these women together to be deceiving yourself as if you care about them. My bro, my sister, it is you they call. Uh, it is you they, they refer to. It is you they say you do not have a child. Leave all these women out of it. Try to gather these women that have this problem of giving birth together to deceive them as if you care about them, talking as if you know them. Did you care about them? Leave all these women alone. Let them solve their problem by themselves. You go and solve your own. We want to know what this desperation is all about. That your husband boy, Pastor Gudal, must be governor. You are the one who starts. Well, I want to ask you, when did somebody that did not have a wife got to do with somebody want to be governor? If you don't have a wife, of what, like, for you to be a governor, for you to be governor, does it mean you must have a wife? If, they, if uh, being a governor, uh, uh, you must have a wife that shows that you are responsible, then it would have affected your husband. If to be a governor, you must have a child that, that will show that you are fruitful. Because look at, our, look at our state now. Our state is not fruitful. Order your husband. So uh, if your, your husband being a, being a governor, then want to, you know, when he was campaigning to be governor, if him being a, being a childless did not affect him, what makes you think, sorry that did not have a wife, it will affect this man? Enter house, madam. You talk too much. All those things they said that, you know, you are childless. You deserve it. You are the one that brought this this uh, uh, insult to yourself and to your husband. Enter house. Your husband, eight years is over. It is not by force. I saw Godalo. Except people are hiding something. You don't want us to know. You, or maybe I said is coming to cover your husband's ass. Uh -huh. Enter house, madam. Enough of this talking. All those your crocodile tears. Enter house. Uh, the group of uh, those states. My name is the Wounded. We we'll always tell them the truth. Thank you and God bless.